Sometimes in 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 Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. I am ex exhausted today. Hello, chat. Hello, chat. How is everybody? Twitch, YouTube. I ain't streaming anybody else. I ain't, I ain't pulling, I ain't pulling the, I ain't pulling the, the, the three at once, man. Not today. Not today. Hope everybody's doing well. Super, super, super tired. So I apologize if there is, uh, uh, you know, any uh, any low energy tonight. I'm going to try my best to bring it. Um, contrary to popular belief, I know earlier in the week I had said that I wanted to stream the quarterfinals and then the um, do some singing sapphire into it. Uh, I had to set my alarms for 3.30 and 3.45 in the morning. So... I'm not going to be doing that. Um, we will most definitely 100% watch the quarterfinals. Very excited to see who played and how that turned out. I did not look at any of the spoilers. Um, I believe it was Joey and Leo. There's four games we have tonight. We have Joey and Leo, Shady and Uzi, Chimp and Gator, MV and Playmore. So very excited to see. I have no idea. Like, like actually promise. No idea who won these. Um, very excited. Very, very, very excited to watch them. I hope you guys are too. Uh, and then tomorrow I fly out to PAX. So I hope if you guys uh, are there, then uh, I hope to see you. And if you're not there, then uh, I'll be back on Tuesday. I'll be back before then, but streams will be back on Tuesday. So no stream this weekend. So enjoy your weekend. I'm going to be shaking hands and uh, kissing babies and, and stuff like that. Socially distanced babies and stuff like that. Boff and I are going to have a blast. I haven't seen Boff in... When's the last time I saw Boff? When's the last time Boff was out here? Boff's out here in July, I think. July. So almost like nine months. Almost long, almost long enough to, to have another baby. So uh, that's a weird thing to say about my best friend. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't seen Boff in a while. Haven't seen John in a while. I'm going to see some friends there. Going to meet some new people. Um, new like Poketubers. I don't know if they're Poketubers. If they like primarily stream Poke streamers. New, new people in the Pokemon community, friends I've made over the past few years that, that I'll be able to get to meet them. I am very hopeful that I get to meet Jonathan Young there. I have been a fan for so long and, I, and I'd like to think we're like acquaintances, like we're on good terms. We've talked a few times. Um, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna <laughs> assume friends or anything like that because I don't wanna be that guy, but uh, he's gonna be there. I hope I get to meet him. That would be, that would be absolutely awesome. Um, few other faces that are there. Uh, I will get to see MV. Very excited to see MV. Um, I haven't seen MV in six years. I want to say last time I saw him, I was down in uh, down in the East Coast for a VGC regional. Uh, the only VGC regional I've ever went to. I got to meet him there. Um, get to see Nexus again. Haven't seen Nexus. Yeah, like a lot of these people. Obviously, I haven't seen like pre-COVID unless they like came to my apartment or have been to my house since we since we bought this place. So. Very excited to see everybody. I, I I am sad that I won't get to see Dan. Uh, A drives down there today, 
I think he flew in last night and he leaves today. Um, and I fly in tomorrow morning. So very, very sad. I, I would love to see Dan. Hopefully I'll get a chance to see him this summer, but I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm, I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked to see everybody. Nexus, MV and I are going to take the, uh, the, the draft league, the draft league picture. Um, and there, there's a bunch of other people that I really didn't even think were going to be at PAX that, that I, um, that, that, that I'm excited to see as well. So I'm, I'm really, really just, just, just excited to, um, just very, very excited to, to see all these people here. Um, Uh, damn, saw something on Twitter about a, a former, former person I used to speak with. Um, I hadn't been, uh, I hadn't been talking to them in a while. So, um, that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate when you have a gut feeling about somebody, right? That's always the worst part, but that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. It is time. What is here or there is time for draft league. So we're going to start with Joey. I want to make sure Joey's not washed. I got to We have a, we have a project coming up and if Joey's washed, I don't know if we can do it, you know? So very, very excited to see what happens here in this matchup. Healthy by leaps and bounds making a dinner that makes their whole day and giving your best friend the best nutrients for their best life science did that let me turn this down just a little bit Some baking soda on our laundry and became baking soda on, on the laundry join me in the sustainable Chat? swap challenge playoffs of the sbl pokemon draft beautiful here we go and the la wakers are taking on <clears> six foot hacks coach of the carolina hacks his team is some of the biggest he is leo leo came to cook this season right leo came to play this season chat i i have never seen the only <laughs> the only time i have ever seen somebody bounce that hard back in the direction is like like that we swapped seasons we swapped seasons last season i did well he didn't do so hot this season i didn't do so well he he's he's immaculate this season like he played very very well so very excited to see uh very excited to see what what this matchup is as you can see joey's gonna do a great job talking about the team so i won't even go into it his threats in great tusk iron bundle and ogre pond hearth flame with manaphy to set up tail glows zapdos to paralyze my team with discharge overquill to set up hazards and two terra captains a cinchino that can terrestrialize into a normal ground and ghost type and an appleton that can terrestrialize into a dragon fairy and steel type so yes this sir starting off with yachi berry lead thunder's theory in okay. an attempt to live an ice beam from choice specs iron bundle and knock it out with thunderbolt while hitting ogre pond hearth flame oh and an oh with oh, and psychic oh okay 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 so he's not gonna bring the max sassy spadef assault vest said like he did against me he's gonna bring a yachi berry i blame i blame joe for this allows me to deal with great tusk and if he has a more passive lead like overquill i can set up a nasty plot the combination of thunderous theory plus lichen rock dust can really punch holes through his team okay okay cellar rock can let me pick off an iron bundle or ogre pond psychic fangs allow me to break through screens while also hitting great tusk for super effective damage and stone edge lets me pick off a so okay so so i i'm talking my shit uh that's that's actually great for a thunderous lead because just being able to click nasty plot and do as much damage as you can to any six of leo's mons I think it's a great, great opportunity. But ice beams from Iron Bundle and also apple acids from Appleton are very tough to switch into, which is why I have a special defensive leftover scissor. To pick yes, off a sir. weakened Iron Bundle with Bullet Punch, you turn around on Appleton and get rid of items via knockoff. And if I'm at full HP, I'm not too KO'd by an offensive Iron Bundle's Hydro Pump. Yeah, protect his last move, maybe? My last move is Light Scream, which can help my team eat hits from mana. But because Great Tusk can be... Light Scream... Joey annoying to switch into as well as Tinkaton, i have a physically defensive rocky helmet swamp yes who's sir to get up rocks and yawn plus flip turn into good matchups while using Ooh. surf to deal with a bulk up great tusk if great and he's tusk got that i was just about to say i think he's got i think the the biggest thing that i wanted to make sure is that if he's gonna want slow momentum there off the yawn i want I, I wanted to double check he is running relaxed so he's got a negative speed nature yawn plus flip turn into good matchups while using surf to deal with a bulk up great tusk if great tusk is weakened my cinderace can put in a lot of work versus my opponent's team between okay. power ball and u-turn and i have court change just in case he tries to get up spikes or toxic spikes with overquill cinderace yep. is also a pretty good ogre pond switch in and i have gunk shot to deal with that but it also hits manaphy pretty hard with libero but the whole purpose of my team is to weaken my opponent's team so my calm mind agility weakness policy can sweep with power. Up to be faster than a max speed choice scarf iron bundle after agility and i also live a choice specs ice beam due to my evie oh oh you just need dual stab at that point i mean what 
like you need Tinkatone weakened a little bit. You need Tinkatone weakened a little bit. You need over o Overquill probably doesn't want to take any sort of boosted Dragon Pulses there. So you really just need Tinkatone to be out of the way for that one. I like that. Dragon Pulse can knock out Overquill. Hey, what's up, Alec? Guarantee. So that's my team for. It goes well. How are you? Pokemon Draft League. Hey, what up, offline? Draft League content. How's it going, buddy? Leaving a like and subscribing as we have another Draft League right around the corner after this one. And also, please check out my boy Leo. He's a Draft we League. Do, we do. We do have another Draft League right around the corner. I've been talking a lot of good stuff. Uh, the uh, the the. I don't know if we're announcing the name of the league yet. It'll be a familiar name, but it is coming back. And uh very excited to uh do uh be a part of this uh be a part of this uh this next league. I'm very Genshin Rabbit Hole, let's go. Lastly, I'm I'm, I'm tired as shit, Owen, Alec. I I'm I was talking about it earlier. I'm prepping for PAX tomorrow. I'm I didn't sleep well. I've been running around all day and I set my alarms for 3 30. So we're just watching the playoff games tonight and then we're gonna be calling it a night. What's up, Brums? How are you? Zazo and Dylan for all the help this week. I've held you up long enough, so let's get right into the battle. All right, so here we are with playoffs of SPL. I'm playing my boy Leo. Make sure you check him out. Fantastic content. He's been in the draft scene forever, and he has a lot of cups, man, a lot of chips. He's won a lot of draft leagues, and I'm very happy that he could be in this season. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to record his side, so I'm going to send him my side. Joey and Kyle already announced it. it. Okay, then yeah, P4G's coming actually, back. For Leo. We actually just played, but he brought five Pokemon, so I was like, okay, let's restart. I'm not going <laughs> to not gonna try and win that way. But if you do enjoy the uh, the content, obviously, make sure you let me know, please. 6v5 let's do it love draft league and this lets me continue doing what i want to do so leave a like and consider subscribing yes and chino with terra normal ground and ghost we'll take a screenshot out of curiosity how does the epic creator ghost. thing work um i know so in the epic Games store if you use if you use cbat in there i do get a cut um if in genshin there is like a spot for a creator code uh maybe if it's an epic thing it would work I don't know if you have to like buy it through the Epic store. I think if you check out through Epic instead of in game, it might do that. If you're using it through Epic, any place that you can put like any sort of a code C badge should work. And I do get a kickback on that. So I appreciate that. Thank you. 12 hour shift, brother. Yeah, no, I'm beat. I'm beat. Haven't started yeah, drafting yet. We're probably, so we're probably not. So you guys aren't going to see any like final products of that draft probably until early May, I want to say is maybe mid-April. We haven't even started drafting. It's end of March right now. We're waiting on one more coach, solidifying tiers, the draft process. We have a lot of really, like, seasoned draft players, so I feel like the draft will go by pretty quickly. So you may see some stuff end of April, but I would say early May to be safe. A scissor here. I'd rather tell you early May and then it pops up early than tell you late April and you're like, what the hell? Um... Maybe tail slaps. I don't know, but even though my scissor is, but that scissor actually has a pretty good matchup into basically everything my opponent has. It doesn't have a lot for scissor itself. I am a defensive. Since Gino player, goes so. nuts against Joey's big, team. Oh, I know. I, I'm not supposed to be drinking too much water into the mic. Some people don't like that. I'm sorry. I, I'm human. Uh, but uh, I'll try and mute my mic whenever I do that. So let's we'll switch on the scissor. Let's see what they go for. Turn one, and we'll kind of go from there. Rock blast would do about 46% max. Goes for U turn. Okay, about 33 damage. Good to know. Okay. Okay. Does that mean it's choice scarf? I can't tell if that means it's choice scarf. I don't think you get uh, much not, information off that. I, I think the only information that you get off of that, I think the only information you get off of that if, if, is, is if it is any sort of a bug-boosting item or like a life orb or a band. So good to know. It has U-turn there. I'm actually not sure what he wants to bring in directly on this Pokemon is he really does not like Scizor. Like, just defensively, Scizor just kind of clicks U-turn and everything on his team. Also, my, uh, my Cinderace is really nice. I'm also really split up Scizor. I'm very split up Scizor. He did not bring Tinkaton, and he didn't bring Appleton, which means he doesn't have a Steel type, and he doesn't have a Terra Steel type. So I really do like my Latias. Uh, all I have to do is really just weaken Uxie. Yeah, no Tinkaton is crazy. Weaken, I, like I didn't even. I, I don't even think I saw the matchup. I think I was just uh, talking to everybody Manaphy, about it. Uh, Manaphy could burn me. Yeah, Manaphy could definitely burn me. Uh, I'm just going to U-turn, though, tank the hit, and then bring out my Thunderous on that, because Thunderous is something he doesn't switch in very well to. Uh, Scald would obviously be annoying, too. 331, I want to make sure. I'm going to write down my number. I agree with that. Well, at 331 HP. Oh, yeah. Was, hey, offline, any any inside you want to you wanna pass my way, I, I'll definitely Amazing. take a look at it. The the tiering is, so the tiering is a little bit more standard in this, where it's not point-based. It's like everybody gets one tier one, everybody gets two tier twos and things like that. So it's not so much like how flexible can you be with a budget. It's um, it's like how well can you draft within like the confines of that. So I've got, I've got a few ideas in mind, but I'm definitely open to for my, open ideas if I'm sleeping. Uh, Go for Scald, 331 to 238. Does not burn me, awesome. Always good not to get burned on that. But that did zero damage, I'll say straight up, that did zero damage. Uh, actually did nothing. Hmm. I'm obviously gonna go out into the, the Thunderous here. Yeah, you go out into your Thunderous. You click Nasty invested? Plot. I feel like that's not even invested. Are you faster? Is Thunderous Therian faster I mean, than it, that? It I feel like Thunderous, is, Thunderous uh, Therian should not be. Okay, damage does nothing. 
In terms of what I want to do here, I kind of just want to go for the. It's fizz death too. Jesus, dude, that, you turned it four. Like you turned actually. Yeah, since she knows always faster. I said 50 20. Like literally 20 percent. So he's basically damn near max HP and has a ton of defense as well. I think I'm just gonna attack where he can't defend. I'm just gonna click Thunderbolt. Yeah. He goes great touch. That's okay. I get a huge hit off. And I think it's gonna be Uxie though. Is Geo the tusk? Yeah, there's Uxie. Perfect. So this is something I really, I desperately need to weaken. Yep. In order to win this game. I agree. Uh, so I'm gonna go for more Thunderbolts. Again, just get as much damage off on the Uxie as possible. I do have Court Change if he opts to get up hazards, um, screens, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But every bit of damage on this is gonna open up my end game for my. Uh, I mean, my what's what he's saying he's gonna do? He's gonna take a side kick. He's gonna take a knockoff. Like. Stopping it. He's going to get some slow U-turn momentum up. He's going to get rocks up, which Maybe he can core change away with Cinder Race. That's really nice damage, though. Yep, faster. Beautiful, beautiful. Citrus as well. Citrus. Okay. Rocks. Okay. Yep. SR. Perfect. So, goes right for stop back there. He doesn't know if I'm choice Scarf or not, but... Uh, we're going to go for another Thunderbolt here, for sure. Again, no real switches on his team yeah. at all. And every bit of damage on Uxie is going to put it in range of my Lottie. I'm assuming it's rocks U-turn. That's what I would do. Maybe, would maybe a nasty plot in case he goes Tusk. Rock, turn. I do have Yachi Berry as well, so if Bundle is not specs, it does not knock me out. I can knock that thing out with Thunderbolt as well. And we can core change this hazard to the other side. I really do think this could also have Rain Dance. Does switch out into, what, Great Tusk? Okay. Smart. Now, offensive Great Tusk does not die to Psychic if it's just max HP. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is go Swampert. Yep. I want to go Swampert on its attack. Swampert, you'll take a knock off, you'll take an ice spinner. He could also, like I said, be AV, anything like that. I don't know. And you want to keep but the Yachi intact for, for uh, he bundle. Switches, uh, he switches as well. He does double switch. Uh, to maybe Oxy, I guess. Who's that? Chinchino. Okay, good switch. Little bullet seed coming off here. Hmm. Little bullet, bullet seed coming off here. It's U turn. Ah, uh, scissors still good. Scissors still definitely my play. Very good double switch. He scouts for. Maybe a, a Psychic or Grass Mat or something like that. Again, we want to court change the rocks to the opposing side, even if we force a spin. Yeah. Uh, because we want to go for that. First off, we want to find out information. But secondly, we want to go for a game with Thunders. Or excuse me, Latias. Latias goes stupid. So let's see what he goes for here. Does go for that Bullet Seed. Perfect. Yep. Not perfect, you know. But two Bullet Seed. Loaded Dice. Seed. Nice. Okay. It could be. We don't know if it's Loaded Dice. Skilling always hits five, so it... Now, Rock Glass is not KO me. It's either loaded dice or. Uh, so I think knockoff is a very fair play. It's either loaded dice or it's uh, turn, just got lucky a little bit. We want to find out if this is scarf. We don't know if it's loaded dice or not, honestly. Uh, but we want to find out. He cannot KO me this turn. That's the really important part. So, yeah, perfect. Not scarf. Okay. So I'm assuming loaded dice. He does crit me, which is unfortunate, but I'm assuming loading dice. Uh, we get a nice hit off on Manaphy here, which is cool. Again, we just need Uxie weaken. That's the big thing. This is overkill. This is super overkill. Ooh. Let's intimidate. Get a knock on it too. Well, Noxki. Was defensive. Okay, Rocky Helmet. Rocky Helmet. Let's go. Every bit of damage on this guy as well goes a long way too. Oh yeah. I he was can crunch so. here if he really wants to. He may get the T spike. I think that's a great opportunity. Yeah, just go for crunch. Oh yeah. Okay. So Knocks him out too. Interesting. What up, Bash? Hey, what up, Tom? Loaded dice is so sick, dude. I, I think that's a great item. I think I just want to go per here. Yeah, threaten him out. Obviously, I threaten him as well with a, a surf. So I think I'm gonna go for that. Just get damage on something, really. Okay. Actually, I kind of want rocks instead. No, I'm a surf. surf don't, I was about to say, don't go for I, rocks. Because you want a core change in the way. KO for later. Is that Manaphy? Perfect. <coughs> Again, we're going for game with... We're going for game with Latias. Right? Hey, I so, appreciate it offline. Thank you. I'm going to make the uh, Thunderous play here. We're going for game with Latias. Every bit of damage on Manaphy matters. Every bit of damage on Uxie matters. Yeah. He's playing well. Maybe I should just got up rocks. Uh, but that little small percentage that I got off on Overkill actually puts it in range of Dragon Pulse with weakness policy activated. So yep. No. I, 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 I think really he's I think he's playing well right now. If he goes for Ice Beam, I'm good too. Uh, maybe an Energy Ball comes out. A Tail Glow could come out as well. I could assume Scald as well, I think. Scald, yep. No burn. No burn. Perfect. No burn. So we'll just throw off a Thunderbolt here. Yeah. Always. I would love for him to give me damage on Uxie. Give me damage on Uxie. Come on. That's what I want. Uxie's damage super weak. Why we still need damage on Uxie? Go ahead and give me that damage. Give me that big damage right now. Why we still need damage, damage on Uxie? Right now, right now. Come on, buddy. We want damage. Uxie was at damage. like half, wasn't it, after the citrus? Give me Uxie. This is the overcall, actually. I mean, good Again, thing you didn't go for Psychic. You think? I mean, this is big damage. This is really important, too. Oh, that's a, that's a two-hit KO right there. Again. I'm playing like I'm Scarf as well, so... 
I think he might think I'm Scarf. Yeah. Such a heat matchup, too. No, no yeah, this is a good one. Well, no, no, no. I know damage on Uxie is great for Lottie, but, like, I don't know. I, 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 I feel like maybe a nasty plot there on the Switch would have been a little bit better because Uxie's already, like, Uxie's already, like, at, like, 55%, if I recall. Yeah, what am I saying? So I feel like it still does okay. Like, I feel like a good a good Dragon Pulse roll still does it, right? So no Intimidate as well for my dog. No Intimidate for the dog. Yeah, no Intimidate for Lycanroc is big. Sinchino comes out. If you're playing, I like your scum. I'm gonna just thunder. Oh, I should not have Thunderbolted. What if you tear ground? Okay, he knocks. Perfect. Okay. Knock. Knock off, Bullet perfect, Seed, U-Turn, like Tail Slap. So I think what I want to do here is I want to go Cinderace now. Yep. Threaten the shit out of it. Sinchino. What is this? What is this? I hate these games so much, chat. That guy had no business being that thick, by the way. Tail Slap actually does not kill me, and... Yeah, I want to core change away these rocks because I want to make sure that got the branding right out of the gate. I fucking hate it. Yeah, I fucking rock, hate it. As long as bundle can't kill Lottie, that's the important part, right? That's the important part for me. Also, I could easily knock him out here. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think he. I don't think I don't he. Uh, he oh, could he be like knock okay, off, or, knock off U turn bullet seed tidy up? Here. I guess Terra normal. Terra ghost. Oh, I didn't make myself slower than this thing. Oh my god. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Misplayed really bad. Oh my god, why am I slower than- wait, why am I slower than this? Bro, what? Dude, did I just lose because I made myself slower than this? I didn't even realize I was slower than this in prep. What the hell, bro? I actually could've just straight up KO. Leo's a demon as well for doing that, but why, why am I slower than this? I didn't even realize I was slower than this in prep. Yo, okay. Damn. Uh, this is not great. Nope, that is not good. This is definitely not great. Things are not looking good right now. Uh, Lycanroc's not faster than it. This is definitely so not yeah, looking Cinderace good. Yeah, would've been great. Why did I make myself slower than this in prep? I can't believe it. That was such a- Yo, why did I, what? Oh my God, I'm mad at myself for that. Well, looks like I'm not making it into the, <laughs> looks like I'm not winning this one, guys. Yeah, that's, that's a little unfortunate. Even if he, even if he killed me there, I'm really surprised he went Here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Leo, Leo made the right play expecting like, a, I, I, I don't know what he expected. Like if he just wanted to get rid of this thing, cause like a high jump kick, a pyro ball, Pyro Ball would have still knocked this thing out. Pyro Ball from, from Libero Ace, 93 to 110 to just Max Max Cinchino. Right? Like, there's there he, he could have knocked him out there and then Lycanroc Accelerock to pick him off. This is crazy. Everything killed this month. But, but, that, so here, here, here's, here's what I'm looking at. Here's what I'm looking at, chat, right? Here's what I'm looking at. Here's what I'm looking at here. I think he's adamant, and I think he wanted to let it go. Because look. Oh, I'm not calculating the Terra Normal. Don't listen to me. Don't fucking listen to me, chat. Yeah, don't listen to me. He's jolly. Don't listen to me. He needs to be jolly to outspeed the Thunderous Chase. You haven't team prepped in a while. Don't talk speed tears like you know him. No, no, no. Yeah, he definitely did. That's not enough. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Damn, wow. that's so unfort. Well played, Leo. What was he? What was he out? What was he outspeeding? Ogre Pond? Bundle? Well played. No, he can't outspeed Bundle. Was he outspeeding Ogre Pond? Well freaking played, dude. Well freaking played. Seriously, really bad prep on my part. I didn't even realize that my Cinderace was slower. Yeah, he can hope for. Uh, tail slap here. Yeah, tail slap probably and always kills this. Yeah, I, I played that terribly. I mean, I, I I guess I prepped it terribly, huh? Again, I really didn't even realize that I was slower than this one. Oh. Yeah, the agility off, which is cool. Oh. But I don't think that wins the game. Had he U-turn, uh, had he misplayed a U-turn there, would have been good. But oh. yeah, I'm actually really disappointed in, uh, in that. I'm really, really, really disappointed in that. Oh. That I, I messed up that badly. Well. I it. Like such an oversight in prep. Ah, what a way to lose the season. Ah, oh, well. Good luck to Leo, of course, in the, I mean... uh, the play. <clears throat> yeah, like, that's wild, bro. Like, at least being fast. I, I obviously didn't Pyroball there, so I made the misplay anyway, but I went off the assumption that he would anticipate, you know, the monster. Oh, yeah, and then Uzi just, him. yeah. Yep. Can't do anything here. So I should have Pyroball regardless, right? But I obviously went off the assumption that Leo would switch because Damn. Cinderace does KO that. And it was just completely bad on my part. Then again, Leo can't record this while he's playing, so I don't even know if he can calc. So maybe maybe he didn't even know. Oh, well. Sorry, guys. Looks like my season ends here. I'm not winning season two. So everybody who said I wasn't going to win this season uh, was <laughs> right. And uh, yeah.
we'll end it at that. So check out Leo, of course. I don't think we're going to be able to do a post-game interview because he doesn't even have a computer right now. Uh, so hopefully he can record this later for himself. But Damn, he... I'm going to pick up the KO. Doesn't even have freeze drive. Didn't do crap to me. What the hell? Do you not have freeze drive, bro? Into my Swampert team? Just yawn. Bring it back. Bring it back with Bandito. Any, freeze drive, please. All right, go to the pump there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, sorry guys, really. Uh, Damn. The season on my part, really bad prep on my part. I cannot believe. Damn, that is super tough. That was super tough, man. All right, Leo heads into semis. Leo heads into semis. Next up, we have Uzi Gunner and Shady Penguin going up. It's so easy to get your windshield replaced using safe. This life. is gonna be a match. Already, Let's start it off as a chip and grew mm -hmm. into. We're here for the first week of playoffs in the Shuckle Premier League. Your New York Yankees have managed to make it all the way with a record of four four. We didn't go positive, but we had a strong enough record of less deaths than other players in the league. Where we made the playoffs. And today is week one where we're going against Uzi Gunner. We will go ahead. I thought I had this exact same shirt. But before that, I do just want to say again, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure coming back to draft league and making it all the way to playoffs after not playing for seven years is honestly something I'm proud of. There are things I would do different with my draft if I could, but we can't. So we're gonna push on through and see how far we can get in playoffs. So let's go ahead and jump into the battle. All right, early, early all game right. today. Early game. I woke up about ten minutes ago. <laughs> But this is what we do. Okay, this is what we do. We play Pokemon early in the morning. Uh, we have a game plan. We have He's got the sleepy eyes have going. We have Landorus. We have to roll it on. Our shield on. We have to roll it on. We just let one of those do work. All right. The other three are supporting cast today. Uh, Grimson and I also support. Let's see what we got. Yeah, how many times? Hold on. Where's my Where's my Where's my dock for the Shuggle Premier League? How many times did Shady bring our Chaludon? I don't think I've seen him bring the fucking our Chaludon. Uh, 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 stats? Is that what I'm looking at? What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Week one. He brought it week one. He didn't bring it against me. Okay, he brought it week three. Didn't bring it week four. He brought it week five when he nay nayed on Envy. Um, week six. Did I did I just like not watch the right matchups? Did he just not need to bring it? He's brought it to half his matches. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Oh yeah, he brought it to half his matches. I literally forgot he had our child done. She, you drive. The answer is not enough. Oh, True. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that because I want to listen. I came into this league as a, as a penguin, and I'm leaving an electro shotting penguin. Okay. Also, I might be in a little bit of a funky mood because, <laughs> because of what time is. Ooh, is that okie dokie? I don't know what this thing does. Okie dokie is toxic chain or guard dog. Um, poison fighting. What does guard dog do? You need to intimidate it. Plus one attack. Cannot be forced to switch out. Whoa. Whoa. If it's intimidated, it gets plus one. Okay. So. I was about to say, I was like, I hope he looks up what guard dog does. Chain we are familiar with thanks to our match against Envy. I believe it was. When it comes to the lead, the only thing I really can safely lead, if I'm honest, is going to be Talus. I think his only Brick Breaker is the... Hmm. I think his only Brick Breaker might be the Okie Dokie. Uh, let's see. Actually, Deoxys might get it. Deoxys gets it to... Does Persian get Brick Break? Does not. Okay. So Deoxys and Okie Dokie are the Brick Breakers. I don't have Hazard removal, so I'm pretty sure he just wants to... I'm going to go a little shorter Deoxys, here. A little uh, smaller. Hazards. That would make a lot, a lot of sense. That makes me want to lead you Might into another draft. Yeah. Little, a little on the nose. I'm just going to lead... We're doing another draft here, probably end of April. Hits like Take a little time off. Truck. Like a semi, and I need to get light screen up as soon as possible. All right, here we go. Game of the playoffs. First round of playoffs, potentially last. We're going to see the lead with the Dragapult. Uh, this is a very favorable lead for us. Uh, as far as things that it can do, it can probably trick. It cannot trick. That's good. So this thing likes to be a, a, a physical attacker more often than not. However, what I want to check is what he would really want to go out and do. Really, I mean, really, the Okie Doki is going to be the play. Thunder Wave here is huge. It does hit anything on the team. Right? Except it for... Anything, except for the Chiyu. Except so for I think the our best thing to do is too. probably... Ah, we wouldn't switch Chiyu to a potential play rough, right? Well, if I if I click light screen, let's say, he's probably not going to go into Chiyu because he'll see my light screen go up. If I click play rough, he does not go into Chiyu. So I really can never click play rough here uh, if he's going to U-turn. The Thunder Wave is kind of good. I, I don't think he risks the Thunder Wave. Does he risk it? Slowing this thing down would be insane. I'm actually going to Thunder Wave. I'm going to Thunder Wave. Oh, he does just go into Chiyu. I'm sure he's going into Chiyu. Let's see. Uh, Rain... Rain is okie dokie. Okay, so we got a Thunder Wave off on this thing. That could be some That could be some stuff. That could be some fun times. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I will be able to get much else off against this thing. Gunk shot. Yeah. Play rep does not do enough. I you won't be able to black. intimidate this thing either. Really, I really do do is not going to want to switch in too much. And I can't very well intimidate knowing that he might have the guard dog. He probably has Toxic Chain. I'm actually just going to set, set up a flag and really hope that he doesn't have the brick break. 
We'll see. If he has a brick break, we're in big trouble, that's for sure. Uh, we're gonna see poison jab here, throw a reflect, but I max defense, not gonna do much. We get that we see the poison on the poison jab. It's not toxic. We don't know if it's toxic chain, right? That wasn't a toxic chain brock. That was a poison jab brock. So that's kind of kind of unfortunate for me. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit less information. Uh, I'm shocked to find he didn't up. bring like said, really parting shot. Really right, we're gonna get a life turn up. Please don't break break. Please don't have break break. Please, I'll even take a full power at this point. There's the poison jab again. Okay, very big, very, very huge. Our Grim Snarl is bleeding out. Uh, it's really only gonna have time to do one more screen at some point. Uh, I, if I had parting shot, I could do it here. So I'm, I'm wondering if he reads that at all. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm curious about the, the so, lack of parting shot. Achilodon does have like the best bet uh, for, for really going in here at this point. But yeah, I really, I really feel like, so behind screens, I feel like you just go straight into our challenge down here. So it's not memes, I promise. I just really want to click Electro Shot, and us getting the Rain Dance up is going to be the best way to make that happen, right? So oh. Psychic Fangs here. That would have been, oh, Psychic Fangs! Oh, I lose, I lose, I lose, I lose, I lose. Okay, all right. That's, that's awful. Rain for Dance anyway. for that's the Electro anyway. Shot is crazy. Gonna draw. crazy. Gonna and it's going to neuter the fucking, uh, uh, um, 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 I think the second you see Rain Dance, uh, the, the, the just thoughts start happening. Uh, let's just go right out. It's obvious. It doesn't matter. I don't think he can Earth Power in front of Rotom, so I'm going to go out and do do. Uh, I should have done some sort of Calyx before doing that move, but honestly, it's, a, it's just fine. We're going to see C Flare. Let's see what this does. It does nothing to Arch. And uh, let's see. It did. It, it brought me from 365 to 325, so it did 11%. This thing could be Specs. This thing actually probably is Specs. Damn. Wait. I think he's Specs. Damn. Without Specs? That's almost supposed to do 6 to 8. It's 11. So he's definitely specs. This is a completely free electro shot. We have to click the mo, baby. We have to click it. Okay. Has he okay, never clicked baby. electro shot? So talking about, we get to click electro shot. Has he never done SPL? it? I am riled. Whoa, you're Shady not didn't see okay, the crit. I didn't. Then. Expert belt? I didn't see the crit either. No, it's okay. I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna. Click I, I like Scott. Look at that bridge. Huh? Look at it. Look at that incredible bridge. Special attack goes up. We get the resisted electro shot off. It does nothing. That's okay. It was cool to do. Okay, you're lefties, dude. What invest? Eject Whoa, button. you're not lefties. That was red. That was eject button? That's, like, kind of good for me. I don't know what else. I mean, Chi Yu, I guess, is going to be the play he has to make, right? It's the strongest thing on his team. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's Chi, Chi Yu. Uh, this but thing might just take me out straight up. Your assault vest in the right rain. I, I like, you're going to eat You're gonna eat a Dark Pulse. Overheat. I, overheat in the rain is not going to do it. I'll say that. If he specs, maybe he can he can take me out. But if not, uh, we get a fat Aura Sphere off here. Yeah, uh, always. Oko, but it is very Always. Good. It's a lot of damage. And that's kind of the point. Actually, I think, I think I'm supposed to just Electro Shot. I'm just supposed to Electro Shot again. Really? Uh, plus two electro shot with my spread, depending on his spread, does take him out. All right, we're gonna see the withdraw. Ooh, right back into Shaman, maybe. Right back in, right into Nia. Okay, uh, Nia the Persian probably focused Sash, right at that rate. I think he's most likely focused. I don't know what Persian wants to do. Maybe Persian learns Thunder Wave. That's probably, yeah. Persian does learn Thunder Wave. I can see this thing just wanting to Thunder Wave. Fur coat. Wow, that eats it. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's crazy. Did the body press? He has um, to have body press, right? What the heck could that be? Salt nest? Even a salt nest? Am I tripping, dude? Is his mind to do not have any EVs? Like, what is going on? No, it has to have EVs. 301 special attack. Yeah, it has some. It has 60, but I'm at plus two. I just expected way more. Uh, I am just going to, I think at that point, I I probably Dragon Pulse here because it covers switch ins. I just can't believe how little that did. I actually have to Electro Shot. You just keep going. You just keep boosting. Shot. We're going to see Knock Off here in the Assault Vest. That's going to make me uh, weak to the Earth Power. Uh, but I think our Chilodon's going to get a bunch of Electro Shots off. I'll tell you what, that's what I wanted today. That's what I wanted, and that's what I'm getting. This thing is a beast. It's true. Uh, and, and with the Okie Doki paralyzed, that's the that's the big physical threat. But like I said, I think either Chi Yu or Shaman coming in the crit before would have gone ridiculous, I think. Actually, no, it wouldn't matter, right? It wouldn't matter. All right, so Persian goes down, useless crit. Uh, Arch got to do some work, right? Like, we got to put a little chippies on Shaman. Very little. Little chippies. Uh, and then we got to take our version. Not really the greatest trade in the world for me. I might, I might actually swap. I do get info here, though, right? Like, 191. I don't live a Dark Pulse. I do not survive a Dark Pulse. But I really don't have a switch in, honestly. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I was like, what is your switch in? It just feels bad to let Arch go down here. Let me think. I think it's Arch fine. Arch is really good against Dragapult. Like, very, 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 very good. I think Arch is putting a lot of work. Nothing left but one turn of screens, right? He's got one turn of screens left, and that's it. Or Thunder. He doesn't have a Dark Pulse through the screen? Um, I think we just let this thing go down. I'm going to let him go down. We're going to see Dark Pulse, maybe? No. Okay. I was so going to say, yeah, that, that, okay. Life orb. You're not Life Orb. So you could be Specs into Dark Pulse. All right, so we're, we're, we're down one behemoth. The whole game plan is just behemoth.dex today. We're down one behemoth. We actually don't need to click gravity, which is really good because that means that uh, this thing can just kind of pop off. Our Landorus can pop off. Why is Landorus named Sylvain? What's going on? <laughs> um, hmm, he slipped in. Let's think. I would say Dark Pulse. My Rotom is, I believe it's- Could you just go into Sneasler? And just threaten uh, it? From 212. 
70%. I can take Like, well, you don't need to use the gray CC yet. Else in anyway. I don't. I would say let's get Talos in right now. And let's get the light screen up. It's, it's, it's a time for sure. Oh, I forgot now, about the psychic fangs. I forgot don't about the psychic fangs. At all. And I could double predicting the okie dokie, but I don't really. I, I don't have like the grassy train up for my sneezler for Shamir to start popping off. So we're just going to set up a light screen here. I do not think since he knows I have Thunder Wave, I think he goes into okie dokie every single time. Every single time. I forgot about that. Uh, rain. Rain is actually. Yeah, Rain is the okie dokie. Okay. We'll get light screen up. Obvious light screen is fine. Uh, if I had parting shot right now, that would have been that would have been the play every moment. Or we're gonna get light screen up, and oh. we're gonna go down here. So, can you? Light not gonna matter against this thing, but this thing is not the biggest threat uh, for our team. Instead, now, As... now if we go out into Landorus, let's say Landorus, it might be Lando time. Even with Okie Dokie having like, even with Okie Dokie having guard dog, we, we don't have a flex up though. So yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, do you not like not get some big out. damage we, off we of there? Lando could sub, and it's full power. We are literally like cracked out of our minds. That would be insane. Really don't have much else to do. I could go out into Caspar and click Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump in the rain would be nice. Rain, I like that. 40 I like that play. Best. Not great. Um, you know we have Psychic Fangs. So we can't really go into Shamir. You know what? I think it's time. I think it's time. We get the full power. We, we, we play into that. We play into the full power. Uh, there's the guard dog. His attack is going to raise. That's fine. Uh, that is all calculated. We just need one full power on one of these Ice Punches, right? That's all we need. He clicked Ice Punch immediately. He, get full, he gets full power because of that. It's arrogant. There we go. Like I said. Like I said, uh, it's just sometimes you gotta play to your win con, you know? Sometimes yep. you gotta play to your win con. Now, Okie Dokie is taken care of. He's cooked. He's completely cooked. The rain is done, and I missed that noise because I just woke up and it was kind of soothing. We click EQ. We get the crit because at this point, we're just banking on it. We're just banking on it completely. Uh, he's got the Shaka. Okay. Shaka will make him survive no problem at all. Full power. I'm back behind my stuffy. I'll take a full power. I look crazy. That was not insane. Okay, the good news is that EQ, EQ is probably our move no matter what. That, that was a good turn of his hands, though. I think if you do you U turn but here, I don't think he can risk me subbing again. Right? I don't like me yeah. clicking sub goes insane, it goes insane. So, I really don't think he can risk me clicking sub. He also can't, can he risk him getting full powered though? I honestly feel like he can't. I honestly feel like he can't. Um, let me just look at his team again really quick. My Sneasler in the grassy terrain is gonna be able to do a lot of work. The Oxus defense is gonna be what takes he doesn't him out. have, he doesn't have a Rotom, um, sure. so like, I, I have no way to break through that. Uh, except for Leetsy. I think I click EQ. I think he lets this thing go down, it's paralyzed. I can't set screens anymore. It did its job, so let's EQ. Man, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. All right, she, you know, uh, we are, we are clicking oh. EQ. Oh. I, I kind of wish I subbed, but you know what? It is what it is. We're going to take a Chi Yu out. That's fine. Chi I don't think you subbed there. I, 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 I think that was a fine play. I think, I think either you U turned, I think either you U turned there, or I, I don't think sub is the play. I think attacking either Earthquake or U turn was fine. I think Earthquake knocking out, like, sacking the Chi Yu was appropriate. Um, and then I think the, I think u turn would have given him some momentum into maybe like, um, Sneasler to knock it out if he's got the close combat. I don't think I'm out of seed player range at all. Uh, Ocelot. Is that Deoxys defense? No. Ooh. What does Dragapult do to me? Dragapult is just crazy, right? Like, will o is This thing is so strong. Stuff. I don't know what it does. Um, this might be a Linhart moment. Let's see. Uh, see, like I said, Deoxys defense, I really don't have a breakthrough. So Linhart kind of is my only option. How much does a dragon, uh, a, a Draco meteor? Draco meteor doesn't take out my Linhart. If this thing does get gunk shot though, we could go out into Caspar. Uh, we probably just sack off the Rotom at this point. Looking at his team, he's got a Shaman in the back. It's always gonna be threatening me. Let's just get rid of it. Let's just be done with it. Okay. Be gone. I would love to Thunderwave this thing turn one, but you know what? He swapped. He made the right play with Okie Dokie. Caspar is here. We're gonna see Dragon Darts. Yeah, he can go Dragon Darts now because I don't have. Uh, that was a lot of damage. Let me see. So you are uh, Dragapult. Hmm. Are you banded? Oh, we're gonna have no way of really knowing if that's banded. Yeah, I don't think it's banded. I don't think you would do that. Uh, I, we, I, I kind of feel like Linhard is semi-free. Right? I kind of feel like that. Is it, I want to preserve Linhard for the time? Deoxys, but uh, I also can't... I mean, I can intimidate and then fire off an EQ. Or I can yeah. intimidate and then fire off a U-turn. Uh, I mean, Earthquake probably just Oko's Dragapult. It doesn't, so I, I would U-turn. Uh, I, I, I do feel like that's the best play. I do feel like after seeing the Dragon Darts... Now, this thing could be mixed, right? The, the crazy thing about Dragapult is it's... Clear body and not Infiltrator. All right, let's Ooh. I forgot about Clear body. Interesting. Okay. I would have definitely thought was, uh, Infiltrator with the screens, but side I guess he, he played really well with the Psychic Fangs on the Okie Dogie. <laughs> oh, man. Right, we're going to see Dragon Darts. Is this just a Oko? Okay, that's Choice Bandit. All right, I survived with 19. Uh, the, De the Deoxys defense is going to want to get rocks up yesterday now. Absolutely going to want to get rocks up yesterday. Uh, Landorus, if you're Choice Band, I think that means you are banded. So let's go on to Linhart. Let's go on to Linhart here. Now, to take out the Deoxys defense with Sneasler, I think I need to get a plus four with Acrobatics, right? So I don't think that he's ever going to let me do that. 
Yeah. I don't even think that's going to do it, if I'm, if I'm real with you. Uh, it doesn't. So I got a Dire Claw Sleep that thing. That's the only thing I could do. Uh, knockoff is kind of good here. But I think what I actually need to do is the U-turn out into uh, Shamir ASAP. Let me see how Sneasler does with plus one defense against this thing. Against a Dragapult Choice Banded. Hopefully it's actually banded this time. I'm not getting uh, played. Okay, we do survive one D-Darts. Then you have Sucker Punch. Uh, which I would potentially survive because the grassy terrain. Knockoff is really semi free. But he's here. but he's uh, banded. Doki Doki so he wouldn't have to worry about darts in the sucker. Me completely. Unless he so unless he to played to a you don't get the second turn. Okay, so we're gonna see the dragon swap. That's pretty okay for me. Uh, this should be rain. Rain is the Okie Doki. And we're gonna get a U-turn off. And I think Sneezler can come in here now. Uh, I don't know your spread, but acrobatics has to Oko. All right, I live in a world where acrobatics Oko's, okay? He's got the Psychic Fang, so I can't click Swords Dance, sadly. Uh, and we have you, can play, of, you can play into the full para again, things. Shady. You we can do that. Big things, unfortunately. Uh, HP was restored, and we click acrobatics every time. He clicks, I think he clicks Psychic Fangs every time. He could go into the Oxus defense, because he knows that even if I click SD, I don't take him out. But I'm going to click Dire Claw next turn. I'm going to get asleep. So I would watch out for that if I were you. <laughs> and no matter what happens from here on out, it's been a great season in New York Yankees fans. Thank you for all your support. I really do appreciate it. It's been fun coming back to draft for the first time in five years. The fact that we made playoffs really is special to me. Uh, so thank you so much for being along for the ride. We're going to see the acrobatics take rain out. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Yep. Uh, the Deoxys defense, though. Can I get a... Ooh, that's crazy. I didn't realize this little ice cream. That's nuts. All right. Don Schnack. A um, couple things we could do here. Uh, I mean, he clicks Psychic every time, right? He clicks Psychic every time. Dire Claw Sleep. If we lose our speed boost, I'm pretty sure that Dragapult sweeps anyway. So we have to go for the Dire Claw, right? Let's think about this. Because if I hard swap to Linhart, that's my actually only other win con against the Dragapult. Linhart might one shot. Imagine a world where Linhart one shots. Come on now. Uh, Thwacky, if I was Swords Dance actually, knockoff could have done. Listen, uh, listen, SD easy. Thwacky that's goes nuts. Effect, so he's gonna knock off and then Grassy Glide and hope it's enough. It actually could be enough. Looking at my, looking at this, it could knock off Grassy Glide could take out. Uh, how much more terrain do we have left? Two turns. Okay. So that's kind of our game plan here. Let's go Dire Claw. We gotta get, we gotta get a status. We gotta get a status in Dire Claw. This is when it matters, Shamir. This is when it matters. Watch, watch. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, Shamir. That's how you go down to a Deoxys defense. Damn. Oh, it's all right. You did really good. You did. I feel really, like really I feel good. like so Dire Claw did not. The words that I had said. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe that wasn't the best use. I feel like Dire Claw, Claw was not it like. Matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I think here we click Meat Seed. If he goes into the Shaman, he's just cracked out of his mind. Uh, I mean, Shaman. I mean, uh, Shaman can take his thing on. He's gonna set up rocks, and my lander is his cook. I guess I should have landed and U-turned, maybe. Uh, I am faster than you, yeah? Let's see. Deoxys defense has to have some sort of negative. Knock it off. Oh, right? I think Uzi's got uh, this. Deoxys defense. I think Uzi's is got 80. this. Thwacky. My Thwacky is base 80. So if he's max speed, he outspeeds me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to U-turn, reading that I'm faster. Ooh, he just withdraws. That's great. Okay. Well, U-turn here. Don't tell me that's the Dragapult. Wow. If I could knock off, I win? That's crazy. What? All right, Landorus is fodder no matter what. It's slower than everything else on the board. It is slower than everything else on the board. Can't intimidate you. Nope, you're unintim unintimidatable. 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 <sighs> this was a really fun season, though. This was really, really fun. Um, I, I mean, I could have I, I could have technically played Arch better, I guess. But honestly, I really enjoyed clicking Electroshock four times. I really did. The fact <laughs> that there was no, that there was no, uh, no Iron Treads on the men's team was just like I just got electroshot pilled and honestly I don't regret it that much no like I, I mean he did he did it and getting he did it. four times in playoffs feels pretty fun it does uh man I should play really early in the morning way more often I I am in such a good mood while being behind the eight ball I really am now we're not we didn't lose yet all right I'll tell you that much we did not lose here comes the d-darts comes the d-darts <clears throat> and we okay here comes the, the shaman we has to have air slash here. right we got fresh grass okay Super fresh. Super, super fresh. He doesn't have a Swords Dance. He's got, Let's yeah, U turn. Why am I not terrestrializing? Because the animation would take longer. That's why. That is exactly why. Dude, I can't believe that if I clicked knockoff last turn, I mean, Landers gets outsped by Shaman. Not by Deoxys, though. So I could have had a, a U turn. I just can't believe he swapped. Maybe, maybe my Terror's what scared him. U turn is 30%. Hey, eh. I'm not taking out that Deoxys in any traditional sense. I'll tell you that much. We're going to eat this. Damn. Which is cool. And damn, awesome. damn, damn. Knockoff does not take Dragapult out. And it is nope. added. But knockoff and the glide does. Shadow. I'll be pretty sad. I'll tell you that much. I'll be pretty sad. Uh, now we will tear a grassy glide because you know what? For the people, the animation is worth it going the 2 0. Now we could go into Shaman here. And that's completely free <laughs> and fine and not win. But you know what? Okay, that's not All right, there's my Terra baby. Cheers to the Terra morning coffee. Not even done yet. Incredible. Hey, what's up, Mitch? How not you doing, bud? I can't believe that if I clicked knockoff, that he swapped from the Deoxys defense. Because then, I mean, then I guess Shaman most likely takes me out. But I would have a full HP Thwacky and a Lando in the back. That's crazy to me. Uh, Thwacky's not holding a candle to Shaman, though. Uh, this is the reason, okay? 
This is the reason. Because Thwacky... Thwacky's not hold... Yeah, here comes John Cena! Right, John Cena's back. I literally can't... I, bro, there's not even a Pokemon on my screen. This makes no sense at all. Uh, we, I, I mean, I guess I click... I, I don't think I click U-turn. I think I you knock off. You just knock off. Uh, you turned his 43%. He gets recovery. I want to know what item he had. We're going to knock off, baby. Uh, we're going to see air slash. We don't even get the chance. Oh, we survive on two. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, it does no damage. Oh, you have lefties, don't you? I think you have, no, you have no item right now. Wait, what did you have? Oh, he had the have eject no button. The time. He had the eject button, Tov. That makes more sense, JD. Tov. That's the game. I'm grassy. Hey, what's up, Hanny? I want, I, want, I want my Linhart to get one more hit off. All right, that's going to be New York Mickey season finishes in playoffs. How are this week's games? So far, so good. I am. Uh, I think that's possible. I think six places possible. Because four people get knocked out round one. We made it a 2-0. So we'll I am, uh, I am, uh, I am, uh, we are, we are 0-2 of watching. So far, we watched Joey versus Leo. Leo won. Then we watched Shady versus Uzi. Uzi won. That was that was a game. That was a really, really good one. Uh, so we got two more matches left tonight. We have Playmore versus MV, and then we have Gator and Chimpact. <sighs> Who do we want to watch? I'm gonna go with MV. MV's is shorter. MV's is shorter. Um and as I as I talked about, I'm already pretty tired and have my alarm set for three in the morning, so Pop in quarterfinals. I am uh, here. Pretty crazy after having a strong start to the season. I am definitely going to be watching ones that are a little bit shorter there. Here for what could potentially be our last game, and we're taking on none other than Playmore, who I'm pretty sure Joey and I ranked as having one of the top teams. Choice scarf, air slash with Jolly. Playmore got three people on it. There's Ben, aka General Tar Heel, who we're going to be battling, and then uh, Pokemon, and I believe Tyler, who does the commentating during the game. This is them. crazy. I know, I know Ben in real life, though. I've met him a few times. He's cool. Solid battler as well. And as always, we have our work cut out for us against his team, which consists of big threats like Iron Valiant, Garchomp, Metagross, even stuff like Terra Glastrier, Terra Hisuian Electrode. Both of those are really strong Pokemon that can Terrasilize. And having access to, you know, Pokemons like Wish Vaporeon and Chestnut and Weezing and stuff like that, as well as like Scarf Crocodile or Scarf Chandelure, even Scarf Garchomp is a potential option as well. There's a lot of versatility on the team. There's good Mons like I said of Hazards and, and all kinds of stuff like that. And yeah, just a bunch of annoying Pokemon that we have to deal with. A lot of threats though. So I decided to start off my team with Choice Scarf Terra Ground Flygon. This is something I've not brought yet. And I think it does really well. Scarf Terra Ground looks crazy. Into like this that. match. Oh, air slash for the the chestnut. Okay, okay. Yeah, choice scarf, terror ground, earthquake. Just kind of clicks buttons like wheezing's there. But okay, air slash well, for yeah, chestnut makes a little bit more instead sense. Instead of levitate, then flygon kind of just goes pretty crazy against or, this team. Or right? terror grass. Neutralizing gas. Electrode. Then we can earthquake it. If he doesn't, then I paired it with toxic spikes toast rule because the combination of the two. Right. If he doesn't have a T spike absorber, which the only one that he has on his team is wheezing, then you know toxic spikes are really good against his team. But then if he does yeah. absorb the toxic spikes, earthquake with terror ground is incredible in the matchup as yeah, I think only okay. Chestnut is the resistance other than Weezing Levitate which is the immunity I'm pretty sure there's nothing else on a team that can yep. really want to switch in on it, it just be Terror like Grass I also do have Air Slash as a nice little uh, coverage move on this thing to be able to snipe Chestnut on the switch in case he tries to bring that and go into it on my Earthquake it's a pretty nice 2 KO depending on the bulk investment even though I'm minus special attack and so then I ran Outrage and U-Turn, which I feel are just, you know, good moves in general. This is for momentum. This is just to do a lot of damage, especially, you know, cleaning up late game with Outrage could be cool as well. And enough speed to outrun a Adamant Agility Metagross, which also covers Choice Scarf Ooh. Crocodile because it's faster naturally. And yeah, it's a really cool mod to try to bring because Terra Ground is actually, I don't think I've Terrasalized into Ground type yet. I have done Steel and I've done Normal and... Yeah, ground is uh, one I'm not The Terra so Normal with Boom Burst? By it. Oh. So then, yeah, like I said, Toad School is really good for Toxic Spikes versus him because I feel Toxic Spikes are, in general, really good. You really require Neutralizing Gas, Wheezing because it's touching the ground, or Heavy Duty Boots on all your Mons, but then if it's that case, if that's the case, then Flygon's going to be faster than everything from, like, non-Choice Scarf and stuff, which is really cool. True. And, uh, yeah, then we have that for Rapid Spin and, and stuff like that. We focus actually to kind of guarantee get a piece of Spikes. We need that guarantee assurance to um, be able to set those up versus Mons that can potentially Oko us. Annihilate is great for spin blocking because he has Cyclozar. Yep. So he can remove them with Cyclozar rapid spin, but it's not really great into the Annihilate matchup because Annihilate can just sponge pretty much every Cyclozar. And then the Roselli Berry for like. to apply pressure. We have Encore. What is that? To Valiant, Terra Electro, like, Terra Glass. Or, into a move or anything slower than us. I set this speed to be like faster than Adamant uh, Metagross, so pretty good. Okay. And then, yeah, Bulk Up Encore. Just a classic set with Roselli Berry to sponge those fairy type attacks from Pokemon like um, the Iron Valiant. He's doing Electro Terra Fairy and Glass Terra Fairy as well. So now we're getting into some interesting sets here. I'm bringing Expert Belt Defensive Hex Mew with will o -Wisp. So let's say, for example, he brings a lot of Mons that have boots or, you know, Metagross, for example, which is immune to Toxic Spikes, does not get poisoned. Then we have a will o -Wisp Mew to burn stuff like Metagross, potentially Crooked okay. on the Switch, like it. Chestnut, maybe Valiant, Garchomp, etc. We can burn a bunch of Mons and then just spam Hex, which is pretty cool. It's like, you know, to prevent healing. And then Ice Beam, which is really nice. I think with Expert Belt 24, it, it does a lot to Garchomp. 
So I'm running more defensive use spread so that we can sponge hits, but then Expert Bell kind of makes up for the loss of special attack EVs with the damage output that it does. Yeah. And we have moves that like hit a lot of stuff super effectively. Like Ice Beam can cover a lot of things like Garchomp, Sweet Electrode before Terra, Crocodile, Psychozar, Chestnut, etc. And then yeah, Psychic Noise is good for Valiance and Love the uh, Psychic Noise. Also Chestnut Weezing. Big fan, big fan. Can hit Chandler really hard and Metagross. So it'll hit most things super effectively, which is nice. Enough speed for Crocodile. Now I have Farigraph, and this Farigraph set is, I think, really cool. So my thought process is, why not bring Farigraph with Future Sight this week? And so there's like a lot of different layers to this team, right? Like for example, Toxic Spikes. If you bring a Weezing that's on the ground, it absorbs, but then it's weak to Earthquake and stuff like that, etc., etc. But then if I bring Future Sight, right? Let's just, let's say we line up a Future Sight, and we go Flygon. Then they can't go into any potential ground immunity or into their Chestnut. And so there's another layer there where they might have to also switch into T-Spikes on that turn. If poison, Ooh. and then also take a Future Sight, and then have to worry about Earthquake. So it's like a lot of things that are stacking together, which I find really cool. So then, yeah, this says here just four attacks AV, which I find uh, to be nice for our team. And finally, Empoleon, which is there for the purpose of checking the ground types, I guess, because it has Shuckleberry, so we can surf for Ice Beam accordingly. And this one, I think, is essential okay. because it's uh, it's just a great sponge. No, it's really it's like it a Crook really hard. It's Garchomp really hard. Attacks yeah. from Blast Rear, and it would have to run close combat or, or being able to phase things out with Roar, out. Recovery, but, and Roost. Yeah, yeah we, I love Empoleon. I love. I want to use Empoleon. But Flash Cannon. I swap for Roar just because I think it's more useful to have a, a way to. I need to start. Uh, I need to start Orion. keeping a sticky like note of all the Pokemon something. I say like that I want to try. Bulky set. I think it's just better for the utility to have that, and also potentially if we Future Sight, we can Roar a Pokemon out into another Pokemon that will take Future Sight damage, and it might not be the one he wants. So that's gonna be really cool as well. Like I said, there's a lot of layers to this team um, that's you know gonna hopefully be able to put in work when we battle him uh, shortly. So that's the team. Let's see what, how we can do uh, versus our opponent. I really hope I can win, but I mean I, I think we did all right so far just to make it to playoffs. But I'll be satisfied if we make at least semifinals. That'd be nice. I'll see you all for the battle starting soon. So I have a feeling this is going to be a great game because of the fact that this is also probably it's, it's, be it's been a really game. crazy season for a lot of folks. Fight, like, like MV went, I think, uh, pretty undefeated last season. Like, very, like, did very well. And I think this season he was like five and three, maybe even like a high four and four. So it's been, it's been a, just a crazy season. I love it. None other than the three-man team known as Playmore. Fortunately for me, my unit of Amel and PokeMMD, I believe have given me sufficient enough practice for this matchup, and hopefully we can win, as this is potentially our last game of the season. With that in mind, I'm trying to get to 100k subscribers, so please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. It would mean a lot, and we have found them. So let's see what's, uh, what, we got? what do we got? What do we got? Us. I'm very curious. And wow, they got a lot of threats. Metagross, Garchomp, Crocodile, Iron Valiant, Blast Rear, which is going to be the Terror Captain, and Chestnut. So, okay, immediately what I see is no wheezing. Which means yep. that if I get up a toxic spike, it looks great. This this many this team of six right here looks like insane. That's an insane build. Got a lot of threats. He's got yeah. A lot of them. And uh, yeah, some of the most dangerous mons. I mean, he didn't bring like Vaporeon and stuff like that. No wheezing either, so that's pretty interesting. But yeah, I think Toadstool will lead here. Try to get up a T spike and go from there is what I consider uh, the best start for this uh, matchup. Yeah. If we get rid of Chestnut, or if we weaken it enough, especially if it takes T spikes, that could really open up our Terra Ground Flygon quite a bit. Other than that, um, I think that. Mew kind of does pretty well too. Yeah, he's got a lot of threats. That that that's that team is so crazy. Garchomp is definitely a scary mon. Valiant is a scary mon. Last year's gonna be tough to break. Ooh, it's gonna be a tough one. But let's see what happens. I'm excited. I am very excited for this me. one. May or may not be his first mistake. Let's find may out. May or may not be his first mistake. I'm excited so, to see MV soon. Okay, leading off with the Metagross here. And this is fine because I have focused sash. So even if Metagross is ice punch, this is a T spike for us. So let's go ahead and do that. And he has, he has ice punch. Okay, cool. So brings me down to my sash. No freeze. I'll be able to get up this T spike here. There you go. And so I would predict him to probably have bullet punch. So maybe I preserve this as a sack. And I could go Mew instead. Now what Mew could do is it forces a Will-O-Wisp scenario where if he does switch, he, he gets poisoned. If he stays in, he gets burnt. And so Will-O-Wisp Mew is great because it basically burns the mons that can't get poisoned. Yeah. Or don't get poisoned. Like Metagross, for example, is a steel type. And that also is great for Hex doing more damage. So let's see if oh, he went for the bull. He went for the bull punch. Okay, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. So, so Toad Scroll has the Mycelium Might. So any non-attacking moves always go last. So I was wondering. I was like, it's a fast Metagross. Like, like, like. I'm pretty sure Toad Scroll shares like a very similar. Yeah, hundred base speed. So okay, okay. The bullet punch. Bullet punch makes a little bit more sense now. I wouldn't have. Okay. Getting rid of this uh, threat is going to be wonderful. Nice, and we land. Beautiful. So yeah, Burning Metagross is really, really nice for us. I could just get a, take a knockoff. Goes for rocks. Okay, so oh, it's probably, some, yeah, okay. probably a rocks lead, I guess. I faced uh, Agility Metagross. That was a pretty big threat while testing. So yeah, getting Ooh, it burned is get the really, hex really off? nice for feeling good about this matchup. There's now 120 base power, super effective move. We don't have to worry about Metagross, right? So it's one mon less we have to worry about now as it's burnt. Uh, so the hex here, if he decides to stay in, he'll take a lot of damage. Ice Punch, Bullet Punch, out. Stealth Rock. I don't know. Whatever comes in, I guess, gets poisoned and takes decent damage from Hex. 
Or do you bet? Whether he's sacks here or maybe, not. Maybe he's shook up there. I would say pretty Matagors? solid turn coming up now. Uh, depending on what he goes for. But I think Hex is pretty free. At least he'll get poisoned. Yeah, anything comes in. Anything comes in gets poisoned. Garchomp. And it does get poisoned. Nice. So it's not boots. Hex is going to be crazy. That's good information. So Hex here doing a little, little bit of chip. Decent mm. damage. And so now I believe uh, just firing off an Ice Beam is the play. Yeah. I should not die to any hit from the range of HP that I'm at right now. And Garchomp cannot set up in front of me because it will get knocked out by uh, an Ice Beam. If it's Yachi Berry, it should still do a lot. And I'm pretty sure because of my Expert Belt, it'll die through the Yachi plus Poison. Outrage. Ooh, is that Scarf Chomp? No, that's Ban Chomp. <laughs> that's Choice Banded Guard Chomp. So okay. I, mean, I eating my Mew very... Mew, Mew's, Mew's, Mew's so putting some, some work in right now. Belt. Burnt the Metagross, this killed the Guard one, Chomp. Which was great because you know, to make up for the damage, I gave it Expert Belt for uh, powering up its, some of its moves. Valiant gets poisoned now, here. Iron Valiant's, Valiant's boots. So, to double check, I'm at 65 HP, and I believe that I do survive Stealth Rocks when I come so, back in. So Valiant's boots. So Mew is actually really useful. I probably wouldn't want to sack Mew here. And instead, maybe I could just go Toad Scroll and sack that Pokemon instead. Because... He is nice. He's right fast. Now, like, that's not really a, an issue. He came in and... We know he's heavy duty boots, right? Because he didn't take poison. Yeah. So being non-booster means we're faster with Flygon. But he actually switches here. Or pulls a double out, which is an interesting play. And goes into Metagross. Okay. So good play. He basically just forced my sack here. Damn. Pretty good. That was some chess right there from Ben, dude. Oh my god. That was some chess. But yeah, Metagross isn't really in a position to threaten my team. It, it's not. It's burnt. We've seen Ice Punch, Bullet Punch, Stealth Rock. There's no, like... And so here, what I could probably do is, because Metagross is burnt, I have a few options. I could go into Empoleon, but I don't really want to burn my Shuckaberry in case he Earthquake yet. I could save that for Crocodile, potentially. Ooh, uh, you go into Annihilate? As well, but I don't really want to reveal my Flygon set just yet, while Chestnut is... Annihilate and just start bulking up? So I think Annihilate is the best option right now, because it forces him to... I guess maybe go Valiant. I also want to know if the Valiant has Encore or not. It would be valuable information to know because if it's not, I could just bulk up. Yeah. Every community across America. He can bulk up, take a hit from the, uh, take a hit with the Roselli Berry. It's rescue food that would. And start attacking stuff. And if it is, I have plenty of pivots. I can kind of switch around. So yeah, with Metagross being burnt, it's not gonna be able to do anything to annihilate anyways. And so well, yeah, I'll just bulk up here. I Watch him have like play. psychic as his Make... fourth move. Psychic noise or something. Because yeah, I don't want to assume that he has something that. He doesn't have, so he actually goes hard Valiant. So I assume maybe it is Encore, but I don't really want to switch, just in case he just, you know, decides to attack. Yeah. I want to get the information bit by bit. So I think I'll... Yeah, because, like, if he Encores me, I can always just go for a graph. My Frigograph is really, really bulky. It's, uh, you know, Fizz Death AV, so... Can Sponge, uh, hits from the physical and special side of, mm -hmm. of the uh, Valiant. Especially knowing that it's not, you know, boosted or anything like that with Life Orb or Choice Band or anything, so... Yeah, he does have Encore, that's fine. Not very a nice, very nice. Not a problem. So yeah, I'll go uh, for a graph here, I think, is the play. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's see what he goes for here. He goes for the close combat. Okay, nice play. Predicts my switch out. But as you can see, we've sponged that pretty well, and we can also survive another uh, close combat. I'm I thinking think I can show off uh, Future Sight Sight. Yeah. a bit, right? Because we'll be able to pressure something with Future Sight, which could be really cool. Let's try it out. I don't believe he's in the same Any, Wearing down Metagross at all is going to be great. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. If he decides to stay in, I don't think he will. I think he needs Valiant, so I feel like he's going to switch. Yep, he does switch. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I had a feeling that something else would, would come in here. It's going to be the Blast Year. Okay. It's a nice future sight. We can see into the future. That'll be that'll be some good chip. And uh, I guess I can go back into an Annihilate here because yeah, I'm, I'm really fizz deaf. On Annihilate, so if I take a hit, I can at least boost my Rage Fist. And doing that would be kind of nice just to get 100 power Rage Fist off and stuff like that. Instead of uh, going for Bulk Up, because now we know the Valiant has Encore. But Glacier also having Heavy Duty Boots <laughs> is annoying. <laughs> so now Valiant yeah. and Glacier are Oh, I didn't boots. even catch that so when I, I switched in. I forgot about the T-Spikes. I mean, they were useful on the Garchomp, I guess. Metagross is burnt, so that's fine. So it really comes down to if, if Crocodile and Chestnut are boots or not. Which will kind of nullify my Toxic Spikes overall. But hopefully, you know, that's not the case. Terra Fairy? Terra, what could it be? I think it's Electric Fairy. It's going to be Fairy. Okay. So Terra Has fairy. he brought Terra cool. Ice at all? I do have my uh, Resist Fairy on hand, so I'll be able to sponge this hit. So he goes to the Terra Blast. And so what's really cool right now is that I have a Future Sight lined up. So I can actually freely go for Bulk Up here because of the fact that he can't go Valiant on this turn to Encore me. So if I Bulk Up, I'd be a plus oh. one, get 100 power rages as well, and not be Encore. 
So that's true. Three. That's true. Bulk up, you'll in. be able to take the next one. I'll probably survive. And then you have 150 do. base power plus one rage uh, fist going off. 50 power on top of that. You get a big rage fist off. If he stays in, he'll also take future side damage. And we need to weaken this mon in order for Flygon to spam Earthquake. So we gotta get rid of the chest. Yep, we gotta I like weaken that. this mon. Because I like this mon sponge a lot of hits, probably. Depending on his uh, investment. So let's see what he goes for here. He goes for the Terror Blast once again. And I think we'll live this. Yeah, we do. Cool. Very nice. Future side comes through. And that doesn't do too much. So I think he's very specially bulky. With boots. Could just be like AV. But now this rage fist. No, 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 no. We saw the boots. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Yep. So now the question is does he sack something or does he try to. Stay in and knock me out. Let's find out. Let us find out. I love the floating hair on Annihilate. I think that's one of my favorite parts. Yeah, because I definitely want more damage on, on this Pokemon. If I can get damage on this last year, I definitely want to. He might also sack the Metagross because it's kind of useless now. That could be an option if he doesn't want to get damage, but something is going to take damage right now. And I'm curious to know who it is. So he does switch out here. Okay, cool. It's going to be the Chestnut. Oh, that's great. And it takes poison damage too. So this Rage Fist should hurt. Yeah, great damage. It's Rocky Helmet as well, so I mean that's fine. But yeah, okay. I mean, this is great. I mean we're weakening Chestnut. Which yeah, is that's one of that's the huge damage for up, for uh, Flygon. Terragon Earthquake. So I think now is probably the time where I go Mew. So this is why I save my Mew because it can switch back in on rocks now. And I think that Mew is going to be great. I don't know if he's going to switch out of Mew with Chestnut, but if he doesn't, I'm pretty sure a Hex knocks it out. Like I could just go for Hex. Yeah, I think Hex and knock is out, great. Uh, what up, Zaggy? I feel like that's a play I can make because he knows that I have Hex and Ice Beam. So he doesn't have a lot of great switches to go to, especially if he gets the wrong prediction. So let's go Mew. And let's fire off a uh, good old Hex, I think, is my is my play. I don't think he's going to go Crocodile. <laughs> I don't think he's going to go Crocodile at all. Yeah, so he stays in. I was thinking about that for a second. But yeah, Chestnut Gone is fantastic. And it's, you know, just not your day today. It's Chestnut your day today with that. Chestnut that your chestnut. day. <laughs> Thankfully. Now streaming on Hulu. <laughs> What are they doing letting us in a place this nice? Ah, ah. John Cena is such a cool dude. That's wonderful. Yeah. I never got the whole really meme, to go but for. I've just seen him in a lot of interviews recently. He seems like a cool Although, dude. you know, I can only bring it in if I'm guaranteed to knock out something. Like, all of his Pokemon have probably attacks that can do a ton of damage to my Flygon, so we got to be really careful. So now I guess he goes Valiant. I assume Valiant comes in now. Yeah. He ends up going into Crocodile. Okay, so this gets poisoned. That's nice. That's really, really nice. Is that like... Okay, so the T-Spikes are actually working really well. And so... Is Scarf? I could, be, I could Ice Beam here because he'll reveal to me if he's faster or not. I'm actually naturally faster than Crocodile, but if he's faster, he's Choice Scarf. And finding that out now is going to be great information because my Flygon is going to be faster than Scarf Crocodile. Yep. Flygon's looking crazy endgame. Let's see what happens, though. Yes, it's going to be Choice Scarf Crocodile. Okay, cool. So he does knock me out here and... He's locked into close combat, which is actually cool because now that he's minus one and takes poison damage, I'm pretty sure my Terra Ground Flygon knocks it out. I'm pretty sure it does because, yeah, I don't think my Ferrigraph can survive the plus one close combat. Maybe it can because it's not stabbed from Crocodile, but to double check here, Crocodile at minus one does in fact get knocked out by Terra Ground Flygon's Earthquake. So we're going to go right into Flygon. There you go. And we're going to try to knock this Pokemon out. Hopefully he stays in. Expecting Dragonite so I can knock it out. But fun fact about Crocodile. So the name originates from Crocodile, but because it's a dark type based on a thief, Game Freak actually went a bit further with the layers here. They wanted kids to know that if there's a crook, a dial 911. God damn it. Whatever your emergency number is. And we're probably going to have to do just that. Oh, he said, he said if there's a crook, dial 911. He's, he's about to get obliterated. You like that one? But yeah, this is, uh, this is great. Hopefully it doesn't have like random bulk investment. Gone. Beautiful. Is that just game? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that's fantastic. Is that so, just game? Okay, this makes it such that it's... Is it a 3v3 now? So there's Iron Valiant. Val, Metagross, Metagross and Blastier, Blastier on his side. And Flygon, Ferrigraph, and Empoleon on my side. I I don't know where the... This I don't know depends. where we left off the, the Glastier. This is actually uh, a tough one. I mean, we got to play around a lot of these threats. And I feel like his team has more, like, dangerous mons. Garchomp, Valiant, Metagross, Crocodile... Last year, like all the mons are scary. But, you know, I got some heat. I got Farigaraph. I got Flygon. Glass at half. Okay, yeah, this has. I, I he's think he's good. got this. So now we got the no, Glass. No, Glass, and glass is seventy five. I think I'm gonna just go right into Impolion. Glass seventy five. So hey, Gary, thank you for the follow. With the stomping tantrum, or sorry, high horsepower, I guess. I guess he could also have close combat. 
I'm he not could sure have if he ice would, move. Uh, go for that on this turn in particular. He might. Hey. But if he does, he's minus one. My Empoleon's actually said to be faster than a max speed Glacier, so I will be able to outrun and... Oh, I didn't see it. He's switching. Never I mean, mind. The goal right now is to get Glacier in range of Earthquake, so let's see if we can do that. Goes for Terra Blast here. Okay, that's actually great for us. Yeah, that's really great for us uh, because this should not do much. Yeah, it does a little bit, not much. And I'm a pretty defensive Empoleon, so I can just Surf here. I don't think he knocks me out with any one move. I don't think. Yeah, he'd have, really to, strong, so he'd have to CC, I wouldn't put it right? past me, but well, let's find out. Ideally, he just goes Metagross and Sacks. I can just Roost up. But if he stays in, then yeah, any, any kind of chip on this is going to be great. We get the Surf off. Just does a little bit. Any close combats here. We survive. Nice. Ooh, okay. Very nice. Okay, on. This is great. I don't think he's in Earthquake range just yet. So I'm going to Surf again. Switches out. Okay, okay. Maybe I should have Roosted, but this is fine. Goes into the Metagross. Okay. So Metagross we know has... Stealth Rocks, Bullet Punch, Ice Punch. I don't know if it's Earthquake, I don't know if it's Meteor Mash, or Heavy Slam, or Psychic Fangs. I'm not sure what it could be, but I think my place to Roost. This Metagross is Burnt, and we know that two of his attacks are times for Resistant to my Water Steel, so I'm going to see if I can heal, yep. potentially. I mean, if you're faster... Heavy Slam, oh. okay. Ooh, Ooh. Survived. <laughs> survived. Let's go, God Empoleon. damn. Let's go, Empoleon. Empoleon's crazy. Stealth Rock, Empoleon, Bullet Punch, Ice Punch, Heavy Slam. Slam. Beautiful. Thanks to my Chinese EV spread here. No, so like, just computer, completely no walls. My EV wall by Empoleon. <laughs> That's interesting. Not to mention, Metagross is my original mascot, so you know it's, uh, it's a Pokemon loyal to me. So it knows. It really knows. <laughs> nice. I mean, that does nothing. We're able to heal this off. And this is amazing because there's actually a role, potentially, where I can live close combat from Valiant, so I should probably try to be as healthy as I can be. Like, looking at the calc here. So, I mean, last year's close combat, it's not going to knock me out. So, you get Ice Beam right here. Or Valiant close combat, then it's at minus one, and I just go fly on it. I think I win. So, I think I just roost one more time, just to be safe. Yep. Yeah. As I'd yeah, say, I either Ice Beam here, or you go for the uh, go for the surf. Should be fine. Well, this is getting uh, really interesting right now. That was a really clutch turn with Empoleon. Okay, so, yeah, that's not doing much at all. We can roost up here. And I think now is where we attack to knock out Metagross. So let's go right for the Surf. Oh, now he's trying to go for Freezes. <laughs> Alright, so we can Surf knock this out. So can yeah, you like imagine? Said, there's a potential role for me to live Valiant's close combat. But like I said, if he goes Valiant, that means that my Flygon comes in and O goes with Earthquake. Or he has to stack Glacier and go back into Valiant. Yeah. So if he goes Glacier here, I survive close combat and I knock it out with Surf. I mean, Val doesn't have, have that much. That. So I think I think we might have this game depending on he's got he's got uh he's got, uh, he's got 74 HP 90 defense so like Flygon maybe let's see I'm getting excited I think we might win this damn that's crazy Scarf okay Flygon. like 74 Terra 90 so like good. yeah he needs some chip on that depending with Scarf on, uh, Flygon Terra Ground Earthquake okay there's a Glacier that's fine so we just surf here I believe yeah because we want to we want to damage this as much as possible put it in range of Earthquake. Cool, yeah, e easily in range now, easily. We'll survive the close combat, yep, we do. So now Glacier's dead now. So then we only have to worry about Valiant's. What's in the back for Val? And we know Valiant's boots. We know it has close combat Encore. Oh, so he's gotta go dance. for the close, we'll okay. Mixed. We'll find out. Yeah, Val's really, is, Val's really min-maxed. It is mixed. But like 74 and 90 it isn't is like knock off bad. Like sword dance or Earthquake, Terra Ground careful, boosted. So it's like double power Earthquake. Still doesn't knock it out from full. But yeah, if we get any damage on this right now. So it's not... We're good. Okay, so he just Moonblast. So we know that he's close combat Moonblast. Oh! oh his, uh, I don't know what his last move is. So this might... I think we're fine. Who does he have in the back? Because he's still got I'm the pretty sure Frigograph. Frigograph forces the CC. Okay, right. so it, it comes down to combat, a 1-0. And it should live the Moonblast as well, thanks to my AV. In fact, let me just double check real quick. According to... This, yeah. Yeah, Moonblast does less than close combat. And we live from this raid always. 180 HP, yeah. This is great. We always live this attack, and we should do enough damage or knock it out with uh, Psychic Noise. Or put it in a range damn. of... Damn, 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 damn. Yeah, I think that's a wrap. I think we got this. Yeah, we'll, we'll always live this with uh, with the Salt Fist. Ooh, this is close. This is close. Unless it got, like, knockoff. If it's knockoff, it does a decent amount more. Depends on the investment. I don't know. Mm. This is really close. If it's knockoff... No, he moved us. Oh, nice. No, wait, no. Oh. That matters. No. That 100% mattered. What? Okay, Flygon. It should not have come down to this, but Flygon, please. 
please. Fly God, save me. Fly God, save me, please. Oh, shoot. It could be vacuum wave. Please don't be vacuum wave either. Oh, shoot. That's gonna... Oh, I hope, this, I hope that didn't mess everything up. I really hope. I'm about to be so salty. I'm about to be incredibly upset. If that matters. Which, I mean, obviously, that turn matters so much. But, I mean, if it changes the outcome... Is what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. Big damage off here. Big damage off here. Please, please, please. Okay. Close combat. We should live this. We do. Okay. Do not be vacuum wave because I don't want to get hacks out of this quarterfinals. Please. Come on. Come on, Flygon. Let's go. Yes. Let's go, Flygon. Let's go. That's going to be GG. It's Envy. Let me say it one more time. Hey, GG. It's Envy. After an absolutely intense game where we were almost hacked out. Oh. We have prevailed. We have my God. Uh, at the very least, I wanted to make at least semi-finals. Oh, my God. Soon. That <laughs> wow, I can't even. I can't even. That's absolutely crazy. Oof. Oof. All right, last up. We have Gator versus Chimpact. I'll make sure I leave a like. We have Gator versus Chimpact. So so far for the semis, we have Leo, we have Uzi. Uzi's in the semis again. We have Envy, who's in semis again. And now we have Gator versus Chimpact for the final spot. And if you guys remember last week, Chimpact and Gator had the mono choice team. So they are uh they are they are here. They are ready for the, the official matchup. Wow, that was I I pff, that was scary. <laughs> After all that well playing, like the crit on that, if that didn't turn out the way that it did, oof. Woof. Absolutely crazy. All right, hello. We're here for the, the thingy, the retirement Premier League on the skaters. We're retirement playoffs, Premier League. We're, we're trying to play against Impact again. <coughs> I'm water. I turn up the volume as soon as he coughs like in my ear. Booty cheeks. <clears throat> I hope I have a health care, health insurance, or whatever, for what the career Miss game. Surely, right? Surely, surely takes care of his employees. Uh, anyway, where, also, where's my wallpaper? What's going on? Uh, okay. Yeah, something. Am I, am I cursed? Am I haunted? I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay. last time I brought choice everything. I mean, yeah, I have a choice by Skeldio, but I'm not breaking choice everything. It's, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> is this a damage? Why do I even explain this? Like, I feel like every time I bring this, I just say it does damage. And, like, for some reason, I say it again, like, it changed. Nothing changed. It, 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 yeah, it's supposed to do damage. Um, yeah, I was caught. Uh, yeah, Terrible has ground, because his fairy resists are both weak to ground, and he has, like, his entire team is weak to fairy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Max Tech Dawn fan. Uh, was shards i mean just i brought basically rocks and maps but every time i brought top fan but yeah can rocks up for moving hazards would be nice uh, yep and this does a lot of damage especially so he has a lot of flying types so a little, little shard some good yeah damage. a little ice shard drift limb whatever. dragonite tornadoes uh, i like that uh, their main response to tornadoes is he is he just like max max on everything okay pretty much ma max max with some speed creeping max max with some speed creeping max 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 Max. Dance and my Dragonite. In case it does set up a Dragon Dance and Max my Max. Thing you can't encore it or whatever. So it's got some beamers. And then you got another beamer. Meteor beam. And Max Max. Beam. Okay. Uh, Iron Moth. Meteor Beam. And Power Earth Meteor Beam. Iron Moth looks terrifying, by the way. Uh, flyers and also Arcanine. And yeah. That's what we got. All right. Let's go play. <clears throat> All right. Hello. Hello. We're here, we're here for the overtime. Clown Fiesta, woo, let's go. I, I can love Pokemon MD Corporation, Conglomeration, whatever. Mega Corp, love it, love it, love it. Love it. <laughs> Clown Fiesta, my fan. No, I mean, there's no, I mean, like, you can optimize <laughs> some <laughs> spreads, but, like, at the end of the day, so Max great. Max's work for a reason. <laughs> if I'm you draft well. I'm going to have this annoying ass drift, too. So, if it starts drifting, then we start drifting. We can Tokyo drift, baby, let's go. Uh, So, last time you just mean, but, like, during the meeting, like, I know both his flying types are pretty fucking annoying. Uh, Over Pond, that was pretty annoying. I think I'll be removed because both these flying types can be pretty damn annoying. <clears throat> and we can fire off uh, status and stuff. Yeah, being able to toxic like Ting Lu and stuff like that is pretty nice. I wish I could show you a picture of what it looks like. 
like right next to my window. Like it looks like a fucking war zone. Like there's a big or like a meteor has like struck the ground. Like, there's a big old hole in the ground. <laughs> Max Max are the most are insane spread. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know what No, is. so you get so you get Max Max. So we saw we saw his like his whimsical God spread, right? You either Max Max, you have this insanely well optimized spread, or you have Max Max with speed creeping. That that's really where it is. There's a whole bunch of just you don't do like a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, and like four different. But if that's optimized, you can call it that. Base. What's going on? I got soak. I got bolt switch. Um, does have soak and toxic is wild. Do do? Come on. You bolt switch. He's fire with toxic. He doesn't have a. <coughs> he doesn't have anything to get toxic. Yeah, Chimp didn't bring uh, Rev of Room. He probably doesn't have taunt. I think he taunts there if he has it, because he's not going to take much from a full switch. <clears throat> Alright, good. Good. Maybe I'm like the opposite of Nanami. Like, once I get into overtime, everything just goes to shit. <laughs> well, so I hope everything just goes to shit. Maybe. Right. So we, we gotta go uh, maybe I'm the opposite of Nanami. That's hysterical. Uh, it's Kelio. That's hysterical. This is probably what yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. Alright, time start clicking. I should I should just terror type right now. I should just terror type. <laughs> just so, he so, just terrors so, fucking so, Keldeo so, right so, now. So, just fuck it. So, I'm not gonna think about it, I'm just gonna click. Like he does have some resist, but 40 in the Keldeo. offensive stat to guarantee a two shot, those are always fun. <laughs> uh if this is not AV, it's gonna be five million. Okay, that's definitely AV as fuck, right? Yeah, that's AV. Holy hell. Yeah, that's, that's AV is all hell for sure. Yeah, like max HP AV. I wonder if uh, I wonder if Cho oh, Choice Spikes no, 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 no. Icy Wind was better. Uh, maybe yeah, Belly Bolt. The thing is, like, we're probably gonna eat a knockoff or U turn or something. Belly Bolt's gonna have to do a lot because without it, Tornado's kind of. YouTube Premium is ad free YouTube. And. Thanks, YouTube Premium. Exclusive access to all things. Beats my team. That's like, the downside of having, like, nine Belly different. Uh, and and Driflin. Nine different and YouTube Kyle accounts is that Double I can't, Knight. like give YouTube premium to one email, it's to one account on that email. <laughs> Tough. Oh. Uh, I mean, I do have Prankster on or online Windsor if this thing wants to set up, so. Probably the best thing going to here. Because <clears throat> if he does set up, mm, we're in a bit of a pickle. Like we have a, we do have Scarf Ice Beam, but this thing still has its- uh, Do you just- It's multi-scale. Bolt switch? Uh, yeah. Let, let's go, uh, let's go Windsor God. No, 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 the drift! No. Oh, he's going to the Don no. fan. <laughs> the drift. Oh, no. I mean, this is not that bad, right? Like, if he, if he sets up, like, I can still break it. I can. S oh, shit. If he. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, if you guys don't know what just happened there, he was Joy Con drifted away from the Whimsicott, which would have been immune to the outrage, and went into Don fan, which is max HP. So, that that's some crazy damage here. And that's definitely banded. Did he really clicks that there? I'm pretty sure that's banded. He really? I guess there's actually not that much downside because the torn is definitely AV and it can switch it on one of probably all day, right? So there's not that much downside to actually clicking that. Uh. <clears throat> use Ice Shard to so break scale. Fucked. Use Ice Shard to break scale. Like, our Dawn fan's like mega fluff now. I mean, yeah, he's, he's definitely banded. I mean, there's no way he does it. Yeah. Now we don't have a Dawn fan. Hey, what's up, Dave? Sure, man. Sure. Overtime debuff. Overtime debuff activated. <clears throat> sure. Sure. That's so <laughs> bad. Oh, no. Uh, what's up, Danielle? Uh, How you doing? Turn here. I click U-turn, right? I click U-turn. Yeah, you click U-turn. You click U-turn. I, I think it's fine. Brother, man. I mean, it's better this way. No, no I think this is. I think this is the Nintendo Gods listening to my prayers or just get me the hell out of here. Or maybe not. Maybe they're just hard baiting me. And they'll be like, yo, we're actually going like, to show you all this bullshit that can happen early, and we're still going to make you win. We're going to hard force you to win. Surely, not, surely that won't happen. Surely. I mean, surely that won't happen. I'm on the clock. Well, super on the clock, so I'm still going to, you know. Brother Dave, I am like, so fucking I'm tired. Like, I, I it's, have had it's, such it's, a long like, day. We're, we're just doing the draft, the watch party uh, tonight. We're on the last game of the I night. Know. I am so I'm tired. Just, uh, I have alarm set for 3.30 in the morning so I can drive to the airport, get to Boston for <laughs> packs for the few, next few days. <laughs> But we know that um, so I don't just, my scarf just, if he wants bruh. to knock off himself or something, which he might, and he might not expect just it. Just very, scarf very off, tired. Or something, things of spikes. Gotta figure out what the wife and I are like, doing for dinner, Keldeo. pack, shower. Well, this thing's not switching. To or I at least have, like, my clothes packed. We know the, um, 
Exactly. I just gotta get like all of the, uh, <clears throat> you know, okay. fun awesome. bits now. Yeah. yeah, it's an early one. Yep. You don't really care about the choice bar as much. I got a yeah, 7 a.m. flight. <clears throat> Only one airport in my state that flexors. flies right to Boston. So. Because he's not. I mean, I highly doubt he's gonna kill me. There's nothing he can kill me with. So. Why does that do so much? Because it's a super effective move, Gator. This is that. I mean, I guess that's like, what, like a little under half or something. I guess that's not that much. Yeah, I was about to say. I hope I have fun too. I'm gonna t try to take uh, a power nap at the I hotel. I get there so, so early that I hope spikes. that the. Kind of, you would like to get some hazards up. Right. I hope that, that the up. hotel lets me check in early. This. Uh, to take a nap. I mean, I'm down to attack. New goal graphics. Oh, you like those? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like, water move do. I was gonna make them, and then I just found like a like widget this. pack, on on a website, and was like, here, someone more talented than I am made these. Let me give you my money so I may use them. It does about half the life. That's good damage. I wanted something simple, and, and I wanted to find a way to just kind of rotate him so it wasn't like water, all over the place. Water. Okay. Do you do about? Yeah, does about half. Where do you go for? Okay. That's definitely not enough. I feel like Gator is sabotaging his own. I, yeah, I, I think once once um, the drift kicked in, like. Pretty sure I just got a kill here, right? I definitely think Gator started okay. to kind of like get. I think he has to respect that. Like not. Like. Like like in his own head. Calm down. Calm down. Kill you. A little bit. What and when's your next draft I league? Should, uh, Pokemon see, 4 Glory P4G is coming back. Actually, probably doesn't raise. Uh, probably end of April. Simple, but they stand out in a oh, good way. Not. Good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> surf does 50. I appreciate that. Surf, he's max for death. Yeah. Um, so we, we go surf. But it does mean Dragonite can come in, though. Or I guess over time. When something like that happens, I mean, it's just. Wait, oh yeah, he knows it's back. So. League stuff again. Senna, Ghana. What is that? Senna and Ghana. What is bro doing? <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, I guess I can. No, no, no. no I get that. I get that. I just, <laughs> I just, I just think that. Uh, you know. Um. Any, wait, anytime thought, like, anything like that happens, it's like, on, well, I had a well-crafted plan, and now it's fucked. Because like Don Fan would have been great. Um, it had heavy duty boots. Yeah. It always had sturdy, so it could always take a hit, spin away the spikes. We don't, we don't know what this means. Uh, and then uh, he took a bandit outrage. Top fan is pretty much fucked. I'd be cuddled. <clears throat> so you can probably go into Iron Moth here. You could have like you turn there. Right, I think, it's I think you go into Iron Moth. Get a nice uh, little meteor beam off. You're thoughts. faster than Dragonite. You turn. You've got a pretty good amount of defense like, to even yeah. take a bandit E speed. But I think we've got in a good spot right now. We know Dragonite's That's kind of my thoughts on it. Um, the torn has no AD. Um, the, we got Terra Blast Ground for the Arcanine. I think Blast, just start pressuring. Hey, attention yeah. everyone. I agree that you want to keep your fairy typing around. You don't want to terrestrialize with Whimsicott right now because you really want to keep that fairy type around for that. And this can't come in on it either. Uh, he's also boots. So oh, really not, like, so now you force it. If you want to knock this thing out, you force it right now because... If he Terra Grounds knocks this out, then there is no Banded Outrage switching anymore. <clears throat> now, if I, like, if I turn Ground type, what, what is anything bad that I need to care about? I mean, cause I have, I mean, I have Terra Blast Ground for this, so. You Terra Blast Ground, you know he's Boots, so he's well, not Shukka. Not switching outrage at all, but. The, the fucking, the fucking gigantic tier play here, right, is to bait the Terra Ground as you switch into Dragonite. Who I believe is still at full health can take a Moonblast with scale and then knock it out with Bandit Outrage. I'm not switching it to Outrage at all. Like, Keldeo's faster. We know it's Bandit. Everything's faster and, and everything can hit it. But besides Belly Bolt, and these other people can hit it super effectively. Like, I have a Meteor Beam and Dazzle on this, so. I, I think we just go for the Terra. Yep. I, I think that's the appropriate <laughs> play here, but yep. So he's going, he's going to try to get the scout. That's a good play. That's a good play. Yep. Uh, that's, yeah, that's a good play. Because now he's going to get more HP on this, right? Because now I can just U-turn. Oh, look at the little thingy on his head. What is that? Looking like, looking like Mario or something. I don't know why it's a Mario. <laughs> Not looking like Mario at all. <laughs> looks nothing like Mario, actually. Looks nothing like that. <laughs> uh, I mean, I still have Belly Bolt for this. I mean, Belly Bolt is my switch into this, so... Are you not faster? Like naturally? I'll take too much damage. Like I have to be in a spot where 
I have like this thing switches in on you on a, like an actual. Attack. Need to get the static pair off on this on a U turn. Okay, Bully Bolt is chipped to all. Damn, health. damn, damn, damn. Rimuru Sama. He has to try to make. It. Yep, exactly. You have to play two turns ahead now just to just, just to try to stay in the game. Fucking dead last. Doesn't Ting this, Lu is gone though. Doesn't this Ogre Pond just kind of mess my shit up? It's not low enough at all for him to cut the kill. Actually, I think this isn't Bandit. I feel like you can like slack off some damage for some. And like, this Tornadus offensively still messes my shit up. If my Rimuru is like getting low, it's not. I feel like I, I, I've, I've literally, I've literally had Arcanine against this before. Like, I feel like, I feel like you just, uh, so we know he, we know he's Spadef though, right? I mean, yeah, I think you, I think you, uh, you take one head smash and flare blitz from Jolly are doing a little over half, so you're not winning by any means, but you're at least getting that recovery back. Flare Blitz has a very, very small chance to two hit KO, like 8% chance after the leftovers recovery, so I feel like he just clicks head smash a bunch. Maybe you miss a head smash? He's at 313 right now. I don't have right to switch now. into this either is the problem. I don't have to switch into this Arcanine. <laughs> is it 74%? Off, I feel like, I feel like, yeah, you and slack I off. Healthy. I feel like you slack off. What, Flare Blitz? He could Stealth Rock too, actually, right? But can I really call that? Ah. Uh, I don't know. That was, yeah, that was, that was not a move. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, at least now he's at full, you know? But if this thing's offensive, Kelbyo. You could soak him could to get get remove popped. the stab boost and then 1v1 him. Play or something. Like, it, could be, it could just fall over. Like. I guess I just Volswish. Yeah, there's actually there's too much offensive pressure coming out here. Like I have to, I have to. This thing has to eat a hit because I can't really go hard to Keldeo. It always eats a hit. Arcanine. Uh, yeah, like extreme speed into like fire move into extreme speed or something does so much here. With the spike and stuff up, I can't switch in again. Like I might die to the hazards on the second rotation. So, but because of the hazards, I can't. And this now this thing's fucked, right? So this thing's super fucked. No statics is a little wild. Rocks. I can go Kelly now. Yeah, the hazard uh, tagging is real. Okay. E speed might hurt. So slacking off was a. Uh, yeah, we slacked off to take half HP. That's that's usually we slacked off backwards. Ah. Like, that's actually just working overtime because we just did like the backwards of slack off. We we all slacked, so that's not good. And this Tornadus is looking like a ginormous problem now because our dudes that have HP. And his Ogre Bond. <laughs> we probably have the most And his Dragonite. None of the Dragonite maybe. Well, we, we can't actually pop the. We can't actually pop. We, don't, we can't get our own rocks up because our rocker's fucking dead. So we can't. And it's gonna be hard to pop the scale. Uh, we, just, we just attack. Like, I'm trying to see. Okay, just attack this. Okay. I'm trying to see the way out. But I think actually, like, there's very little way out from here. Like, Ogre Pond, Dragonite, and Torn are all a problem. The whole three of them. Like, I think if there's only one of them up, it'd be okay. Like, I can, I can, like, sack a couple things and just kill stuff. But the whole three of them are up. I, I don't know if I would have choiced the water type with a water uh, absorb mon around. Problem. Like, this thing right now is... Uh, just like, thinking out loud. The grass move. We probably have to... I mean, I don't think Rimuru is going to be a check to the Tornadoes anymore at the amount of HP is at because of the hazards. If I go hard this, it's... And Ivy Cudgel's not a contact move. It's not already. It might already be. But, we, I mean, for sure, Rimuru is not going to be doing much here. It's already so low. So you don't even risk the static on this one. Well, I mean, it's, it's at half, but it's actually not at half. It's like a 25%, right? Because he has... Because uh, Ivy, Ivy Cudgel's just free against the team now. I, I should have calc earlier that turn, right? I should have uh, seen if Keldeo can eat. Like, I mean, it, it really can't. It, really, it takes so much. Like, if you just go for some straight-up attack, it still takes like 30 something percent, and then, then it gets two shots switching. But it's definitely... Well, it probably plays differently than what happens now. I actually don't know if it's better, but it probably plays differently. Uh, yeah, Tornadus at this point is... Disgusting. Uh, this thing at this point I, 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 is also disgusting. Uh, uh, he's uh, get, he's got Moth. the hazards up. I was going to say, I feel like if you can go into Iron Moth, you might be able to eat one from Tornadus, but like depending on the moves and depending on everything, I just think that... It's so healthy. And maybe you have to like, check it with U-turn or something. Yeah. I, I think Chimp's got this. I think Chimp just plays a little bit of a slow. 
Yeah, cudgel not being contact yeah, is wild. Yeah, like you literally pull game. out a weapon and hit them with it. Like Give them a turn. How many other moves are there like that? Probably a few that I just can can't think it? of right nah, now. I, I think it's over here. I don't think anyone Gigaton hammer. Here. All right, put me on my misery. Send, send me back to retirement home. Uh, I have to sack something here for sure. Yep. Just sack. Probably Keldeo. Sack Keldeo. The one's got again. Keldeo's faster. Like, you could just like spam Secret Sword for a bit. I, I see Wind is neutral. He's gonna. I think because I'm, I'm a ground type on my. Oh God. Maybe maybe he respects. I actually. I actually did that. <clears throat> you spec Secret Sword. Spec. I see Wind. Maybe he respects the backing wave. I don't even know if this thing range of backing wave. No Icy Wind. Yeah. Maybe maybe he respects the backing wave or something. Uh, no, nope. I, I don't think he's He disrespects vacuum wave. He's like, fuck it. I'm gonna keep it buck. It's looking like a uh, our run is over. It's finally over. Uh, I don't even know if Moonblast kills. Uh, let me let me. I think it's from looking at his HP. It's probably roll. But I'd rather risk the rollers be die. I mean, I guess if they rolled over fifty percent. Nah, this is not over fifty percent. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's, I, I he's. He's not. Still, he's not like, over fifty percent. I mean, no, both is thirty-seven to forty-four. Like, what? He's at forty. Yeah, he's more, he's you, you hit that moon blast. So, you hit that moon blast. Sure. I mean, we're gonna have to like dodge some moves with our stuff. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. there we go. Oh. Okay. Didn't go for the Ivy I Cudgel. I had enough, but sure. Um, but Dude, Encore I do Encore him like, into the, the Power Whip. That turn, like the um, setting up the hazards. And I can't remove them because of the Dawnfan thing. But like me slacking off, like doing nothing basically on that turn was also pretty bad. I was wondering if you Encore him into the Power Whip and then go into... But like Tornadus still does too much. Quad resisted uh, Iron Moth. Dragonite still does too much. Drift Limb. I mean, oh, Driftlim's still in the back. Yeah, fuck it. G game. I'm, I'm trying to think of all these, like, like East worlds West. where it, uh, you know, I have nothing it helps out. I have Bandit E-Speed. Sure my... No, this definitely... Uh, I don't know, definitely. No, I probably, I probably straight up killed the, the dude right now. Iron Moth probably straight up kills. I mean, Iron Moth's got, like, an odd amount of defense. If not, then you get finished off from Tornadus. Like, he doesn't have to convert him at that point. Because of the... All these oh, the rocks things. and all that stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably don't. Uh, have another play besides? Yeah, I mean, like, I don't, I don't think anything kills her. It doesn't matter. Grab the shit up. There we go. I got fucking popped. GG! Like pop. Ah, finally. Finally, some fucking peace. Finally, he can retire. The sun sets on a grateful universe. Thanks so much for coming back to the retirement league. Absolutely crazy. Gator is freed from his curse. Undefeated regular season to lose in quarterfinals is, is a story. That is, that is a story and a half, if I'm being completely honest with you right now. That was wow. All right, so next week we have, I don't know. All right, so now that I know, now that I know the, um, Trying to see if I can find. I don't know if they've confirmed those yet. Um. Okay. All right. I'm not looking. So you can see this. So you can see this, right? I'm not going to show this, actually. I don't want to, like, dox anybody. I have streamer mode on, but still. Uh. So next week. So the score, the games have already been played. It is MV versus Leo and Uzi versus Chimpact. I am not looking at these scores. They are spoilered out, but it is Envy versus Leo and Uzi versus Chimpact for the semifinals, which means we are getting some hot content next week when it comes time for the uh, when it comes time for the semifinals. So next week, so let's recap. Let's recap. Let's recap. Uh, wrapping up stream for today. I know I originally said earlier in the week that we're going to be doing some singing sapphire. I am zonked. I am. I slept like shit and I've been moving around all day. Got a nice, got a nice, you know, 
lineup and in the packs look at this nice little shiny head nice little light nice little what if seabed had a you know a fade into the beard everything's looking good my barber put me up well um but been running around all day errands doctor's appointments and stuff squeezing right before packs um uh still have to finish packing have to feed i have to feed my wife um and then i have to wake up at 3 30 in the morning to get to the airport so uh no i'm not gonna play any things that tonight i apologize i wanted to squeeze it in but we will be back with that probably next Thursday, I want to say. I think next Tuesday we're going to have a lot of playoff games for Pokemon Premier League. Um, But next Thursday we'll only have the two matches for Shuggle Premier League. So we will at least be back with the... um, We'll at least be back with Singing Sapphire by next Thursday, by next week. Tuesday is, is iffy depending on the... Depending on everything there. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it. I am looking forward to having some fun pack stories when I get back for you. Uh, very excited to hang out with some friends, meet some new people, uh, have a coffee and a firm handshake. I was talking about that earlier. I would love to love the chance to meet John this weekend and, uh, you know, just, just hang out. Um, but, uh, yeah, that is, that is going to be it for me tonight, guys. Uh, if you guys want to buy me a coffee while I'm there, exclamation point tip. I play, I joke, I just, but uh, I am going to be drinking a lot of coffee tomorrow. So be great. Do great. Kiss your loved ones. Eat your vegetables. Eat your loved ones. Kiss your vegetables. I will catch you guys all on Tuesday. Have a great weekend, everybody.